I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Sunday which tells us that Lent isn't supposed to be grumbling. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making no, the gifts of Christ to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharon is caring when it comes to Higher Things content, content and donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a rolling, and we need your gifts in these dark times. I know you heard some things about Lent. And maybe you and Lent had a bad time, you know. Maybe you were a former Roman Catholic and Lent was just guilt. And it was like somebody turned the knob of guilt to 11. Maybe you grew up thinking that you had to give stuff up and, and act kind of serious in church for once. And this was serious business, Lent was. How does it fit from a, like an evangelical perspective, from a gospel's perspective? The fourth Sunday in Lent, which traditionally is known as like Tara from the introit, tells us that Lent has a joy, joy in it. There's a rejoicing in Lent. Let's take a look, a look at that introit now. This is from Psalm, I'm sorry, Isaiah 66. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad. You know the end of the story. You know how Lent ends. It ends with dead Jesus. And then you know the Easter gospel. The, G the same Jesus that died on Good Friday rose again from the dead on Easter morning. You know that you died with him in holy baptism and that you raised with him to new life. A life no longer lived inside yourself or, or, or by yourself, but in Christ, in God, for others. Lent is a time of self-examination. It's a time of repentance. It's also a time of joy because we know that God has saved us. We know what Jesus did and who Jesus did it for and what Jesus did it for and why Jesus did it. The who Jesus is, he's the son of God. Who he did it for was you and me. Why did Jesus do that? Because of God's great love for us in Christ. What happened? He suffered and died. Having kept the law, he died where for all, kept the law for us. He did what we should do before God. Then he died all the, we for what we deserve. So God can't punish us anymore because he punished Jesus. The where, Good Friday, Jerusalem, the cross. I think I got all the questions there. And you know how that changed everything. The collect for today, for this week, really, really, really nails it. And I invite you to pray it with me. Uh, it nails that Lent isn't all about sadness. It's about a God who saves. And we, who have been saved, rejoicing in that salvation. So pray with me, please. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, your mercies are new every morning. And though we deserve only punishment... You receive us as your children and provide for all our needs of body and soul. Grant that we may heartily acknowledge your merciful goodness, give thanks for all your benefits, and serve you in willing obedience. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Like Tara, the fourth Sunday in Lent, tells us that Lent can be joyful. In Jesus, it has to be joyful, because the one who's doing the Lent for us is the one, Jesus, who died and rose for us. He lives, now we live too in him. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.